get on the Trump train. <gasps> the Trump train. Hello. Hi. Ah, good morning. <laughs> ah, good morning. Top of the morning to you, laddies and lasses. So, I mean, uh, Brandon had another breakfast date today. <laughs> My God. I'm still lost in the uh, afterglow of the, uh, the event. We went to Waffle House in Wentzville, Missouri. So it was it was a good breakfast. wasn't as good as Lenny's over in Illinois a couple weeks ago, but it was, you know, it's kind of like sex, you know. <laughs> Even if it's bad, it's still pretty good, right? It's really hard to fuck breakfast up. I mean, I can do it. I've done it, right? You burn the bacon or whatever, right? I've done it. How do you burn bacon? Fuck, I don't know. I did though. Ah, so I gave it to the raccoons. <laughs> they loved it, burned or not. So Waffle House, Wentzville, thank you. We had a great waitress, although Brandon was a little grumpy this morning. I don't know. He must have got up on the wrong side of the truck. Good morning, CJ. How are you? Hey, let's do a little ASMR because guess what day it is? It's Hamster's Tax Day. No. Uh, I want to procrastinate because even though I know I got to do it, I just don't feel like it. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things. Charles and Abel is here. Hello. Godfather of Ramadi. Hello, Godfather. It's going all right. It's hanging loose. Long, long and loose and ready for use. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I thought I'd come here and just, you know, relay the uh, <coughs> the date. Uh, you know, I don't know to tell you what happened. No, let's see. Can I move this off the thing so I can read the comment? My God. Why are you being <laughs> Everything's so hard for me because I'm stupid. That's what happens when you're stupid. It's hard. Oh, my God. Mr. Sammy's here. Hello. Mouth agape ape. And Tom Laundry. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you happen to be around this great big old internet world we live in. All right. So uh, is this Dave Rubin? I think it's Dave Rubin. Uh, talk to this chick. And I've seen her on a lot of different videos. So she's more of a conservative, uh, conservative thought, uh, I don't, traditional Chiquita banana. <laughs> Do you like Chiquita bananas? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's not the right word. <laughs> that was Pina Colada. Do you like Pina? You remember that song? You probably don't. You guys are young. <clears throat> if you like Pina Coladas, getting caught in the rain, making love in the afternoon uh, at the dunes on the Cape. Let's do our escape. That was Rob Robert Holmes. God, it was 1980, 1979. Oh, God. That was a big friggin' song. I'm sure it's popular at the uh, <clears throat> karaoke bars, you know? So the main idea of the song, in case you missed it, is that he wants to cheat on his girlfriend or wife, and he puts an ad that thing, and it's actually his wife and answers the ad. I never, I didn't know you like pina coladas and making love and sand in your underwear. <laughs> <sighs> One of those things. I, I thought it'd be appropriate to bring out the good mic, by the way, because I listened to the uh, <laughs> stream from last night. That other mic's all right, but... You can hear a lot of echo, kind of like Godfather Ramadi. You must be using like a, a headset mic, right? Because it's it's probably omnidirectional and it picks up a lot of freaking noise, right? This is a very super cardioid here. So it just picks up right in the, I can move off. You can't hear it. You see what I mean? Super cardioid. So it aims right at your face. So that, that means you also have to put your face right right. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Uh, all right. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's roll the video here. And uh, see what this girl has to say. Okay, go. The CDC, I know we don't trust them, but it's fine. We'll come back. <laughs> yeah. The CDC. Remember those guys from <clears throat> a couple years ago? Oh, yeah. Perfectly everything they said was true. <sighs> Matt Kircher, good morning. That later came out with statistics a few months ago that in 2021, one in three teenage girls seriously contemplated taking her own life. And I mean, that's terrible. That's awful that our young people are, are considering a permanent solution to a temporary problem. I mean, you know, I, I can say I've never thought to myself, you know, and I've been through some pretty nasty shit, right? And we all have. I never said to myself, you know, maybe that's that's an option. No, it's never been an option. No, I would never do, never think, not, not contemplate that. No, I just wouldn't. But yeah, of course, it's sad that one in three, you know, young girls are, are, are doing that. What, 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 what about the boys? Hmm. Hmm. And that's heavy. I I know a teenage girl uh, who took her own life a few weeks before her 16th birthday, longtime family friend, and I think about her regularly. Things get better <clears throat> if you know someone or you are contemplating. 
It's not an option, guys. Things will, you'll get through it, right? I think it was Winston Churchill says, when you find yourself in hell, keep going, <laughs> right? Because you're going to get out of it eventually. So Joel Syme is in the building. Hello, Joel. Good to see you again. All right, go ahead. When I'm researching all of these issues, because she, like all of the women in our generation, are smack dab in the middle of people saying, being a woman is so terrible, you mm. should just run away from that. And Yeah, yeah, it's so oppressive. <laughs> the patriarchy and, and the discrimination that, oh my God, the poor women and other people of color oppressed genders or whatever the fuck, right? St. Trogi is here. Hello. Not be a woman and we'll help you chop yeah. off your breasts when you're 15 years old, like a Chloe Cole. You don't have to do this anymore. Being a woman mm -hmm. is actually about being a man and singing about days of girlhood when you have a penis. <laughs> and drinking Bud Light. Ooh, and getting Planet Fitnesses and whatever. And you're sponsored by Tampax. And oh, you don't God. know what it's like to actually be a woman, but you make tens of millions of dollars on TikTok, gaining <sighs> 20 million followers overnight. By I mean, you know, she, uh, whatever, Dylan McVaney, whatever his name is. He found a, a niche, right? He, he's, he, grifted, he grifted himself into millions of dollars. So, you know, can't really argue the hustle there. I mean, but is, is, does he really believe he's a chick? No, come on now. Come on now. Come on now by appropriating women's culture. That's what being a woman is for. He's he's probably gay, whatever, I don't care, but he's not a woman. It's just, it's ridiculous. Our age and our generation. Being a woman is never expecting to have the joy <sighs> of connection and long-term monogamous love in a marriage or with children because those things are evil oh, yeah, for you. Evil. It's much better to have a career in kitty cats. <sighs> And boxed wine. You personally. Now, the sad part about all this, and I do feel bad for for the women, They a lot of them are buying this bullshit. Oh, no, no, you don't need kids and a husband. I just told you now. And then they go and they sow their oats and they, they have a million miles of cock. And they get to be 35 and it's like, okay, I'm ready. And it's like, yeah, we told you. <laughs> we, we freaking told you. And now she has to settle for something other than Chadley Longfellow, right? Chad Thundercock isn't around. He'll go in there and he'll do the job, he'll, you know, curl your toes up and all that stuff. But he ain't staying around. And we're telling you this. We're men. We, we know how some of these men operate. Women just don't seem to learn a lesson. It's crazy. Undead chronic son in the building. Mr. Sammy, she's right. It's better to be prince than a... What? I'm sorry. I can't. Let me move your comment over. It's better to be a prince and a king. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah sacrifice your career and your happiness but also for society yeah. at large because marriage is patriarchal and children are going to destroy the environment and mm -hmm. how dare you think that of your fellow man your fellow woman it's this i mean and, horrifying and, time me, where it's one sec i'll, I'll back up here <clears throat> the human species i believe at some point in our history we we're down to ten thousand, <laughs> ten thousand little you know uh, hairless monkeys running around and somehow we came back and survived I mean, we think we're going through hard times now. What about when you had mastodons and, and shit trying to eat you for lunch and di well, not dinosaurs, but, you know, big whatever they were, big elephants, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> times are a lot harder <clears throat> and human beings managed to somehow figure it out. And so we think we're living through tough times now, <laughs> really. Even 100 years ago, things were horrible. It was not good for anyone, Right. Oh, no, no. This is the worst time ever in history. Oh, my God, women. <laughs> of your fellow man, your fellow woman. It's this horrifying time where it's genuinely impossible to be a woman. And for all of its issues mm. that I think a lot of people had with it, the Barbie movie kind of hit that on the head. They actually said it's impossible to be a woman today. Yeah, especially if you're a real woman. No, 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 no. Oh, what do you mean by real? Why are you being so transphobic, you asshole? Uh, sure. Matt says, I don't feel bad that women bought into feminism. Men were indoctrinated into believing they can have a family. Well, they, we, we were told that that was the way to go, certainly. And we're still expected to hold up these old, traditional, dare I say, patriarchal values. But the women, they don't got to do that, right? And they're wondering why people aren't getting married. It's <clears throat> really not that hard to figure out, is it? The field, the, the rules, the, the play has changed. And men have changed, just like women. But men weren't supposed to change. See, we're going to make all these, take all these rules away for the women back in the 60s. But men are supposed to do the same exact thing they've always done for millions of years, right? 
Well, men did for the most part for a while, for a while. But then we woke up and said, what the fuck is going on here? This is not, there's something wrong. What, what, what is going on? I mean, I was just thinking as I'm driving through uh, the beautiful cities here where I live, because the freaking 70 was blocked. Of course it is, because it's always fucking blocked. There's always an accident or some shit. But uh, so I took the side roads through the uh, the nice neighborhoods of St. Peter's, actually, Missouri. It's nice over there. I like it. Men were supposed to remain the same. And if we say, hey, we don't like this, we object to it. Oh, my God, you hate women, don't you? It's like, no, no, I don't. <laughs> As I said last night, women are fun to be. Oh, they used to be, right? My friend Barb, we worked with, she was fun. She was always smiling, happy. We always had good times. You know, we never dated, but you know, we hung out, right? And she, it was always fun. And yet there were times, sure, you sit down and, oh, I got this problem with a boy or whatever, right? You talk it through it. But for the most part, it was just fucking fun. We didn't have it was all this hatred. And again, I haven't hung around chicks for a really long time, but I keep in contact with <clears throat> Barb and some other people. You know, they're still kind of the same as they always were. It was a different freaking time. And that was only 20, 25 years ago, right? Or what year is it? 23, uh, 24, right? Okay, maybe 30 years ago. <laughs> it's changed. It's dramatically different. You see this entitlement, this. I don't know how to even describe it anymore. It's crazy. You look at the uh, the on the street interviews of these women. It's like Jesus, really. <laughs> and I know some of them are street hoes and whatever. I get it. But even the normal looking ones are like, oh yeah, of course. Mah, 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 mah. Like Jesus, where do they get this shit from? Today, and when the best women are men in society today, that echoes throughout the halls of our entire generation. It's the Rubin Report. But I mean, here's the thing. This is the natural uh, conclusion. It's a linear step from where there's no difference between men and women. That's what they've been, been preached by the lefties for a million years. Oh, men and women are the same. They can do the same jobs. Yes, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. <clears throat> Good. Women want to work. Great. Go. That's that's cool. But, but we're not the same. <laughs> we're different. We're physically different. Mentally, we're different. Not no women are not deficient in their brains. They just think differently than men do. generally. Not always, but this chick here seems to be more of a masculine type of chick. Now, I might be wrong, but she seems a little more masculine. She's got that kind of a voice that's more masculine, you know, more. Blah. But we'll see. Let's go on with the video. But first, let's read some comments. Easter Sunday 2018 happened. Me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maduce. Yeah, yeah. If you're making bad choices, of course you're having a hard time. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, sometimes, you know, when we're younger, we do stupid shit. We have no particular good reason to do stupid shit, but we do it because we're dumb and young and full of cum, as they say. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish I would have, you know, gotten smarter a lot younger, but I, I, I eventually pulled it off, I guess. Well, I don't know. Some people might disagree with you, Hamster. Well, you might be right. You might. Hi. When you see, uh, I hate to do like a, as a woman question. Uh, but... How dare you assume that I am a woman? Assume... Exactly. What is this, Ruben? What are you, some kind of transphobe? <laughs> you woman hater? You... Well, I know we've been working together every day, but come that on. would be a hell of a that would be a hell of a drop here. right now. <laughs> um, no, but as a woman. Oh, they work together. Well, maybe this isn't the same chick that I've been seeing. Might be. I'm not sure. Go ahead. When you see, like, I always think of, like, the Sarah Silvermans and the Chelsea Handlers, mm -hmm. like, there, there's a, or, um, what's her name, the redhead who had the Trump, Kathy, Kathy Griffin. Griffin. Yeah. Like, this, the they, they all happen to be. Kathy did not age well. <laughs> God bless her heart. Oh, my God. Media. And but comedians generally oh are the God. most outspoken people. But like a certain <laughs> well, set, female comedians, so, you know. well, but a certain set of female comics, okay. but but talkers in uh -huh. essence, um, that are childless, that are unmarried, that are of a certain age. Mm -hmm. um, that video that I think maybe we covered it together that Chelsea Handler did about what her day right. is like compared to her friends. And, and thank God she don't have any children. She just sleep till noon and get out her box wine and play with her cats. Oh my God! It's like she's drunk and masturbating at eight a.m. or whatever <laughs> else she was doing. Yeah, she said that too. Uh, I see. Uh, I don't have any kids, so I can masturbate in the morning for breakfast. Throughout her day. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> what a role model. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, 
But just oh, seeing so, <laughs> but just seeing so. Wait a minute, that, Master. That. Men usually have morning wood. You know why are you? Well, it's just, I didn't say it was wrong. I'm just saying it's uh, maybe. <laughs> you're right. You're right. That was not what I thought you were going to say. Uh, but to seeing some of that type of thing <laughs> as a woman has that helped you shift into something where you're about to get married? You talk about oh Grinch, yeah, I know, I know. The gas prices in the. <clears throat> The St. Louis metro area went up 90, like 90 cents in the last couple of weeks, 90 cents. And I haven't been to the grocery store lately, but we did just have this breakfast at Waffle House. And I don't know if Brandon noticed because he had like a burrito bowl or something, but it's like they scrambled one egg and the toast was like half the size of a real toast. You know, it was two slices of toast, but the toast was really small. So I don't know if that's their, their game plan to, uh, you know, make a little more money. I don't know. I mean, it was good. I'm not, don't get me wrong. I got three, three pieces of bacon, which was really good. But I mean, the eggs were like one and a half eggs and, and the toast was really tiny. So eh, that size flation or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Biden's, it was it Biden that was saying that. Not wrong. wrong. Not wrong, really. About yeah. having kids all the time. Your husband's got a decent job. Like your, your yeah. future is bright yeah. in some way as, as again, the, the bump. So bright, you got to wear shades. <laughs> is that it? For, to, to that type of thing. Yes and no. I don't know that it's really those types of voices it that is, have is, pushed yeah, yeah. Gen Z women back to a different type of lifestyle. In fact, I think a lot of people would even disagree with what I'm saying right now, that Gen Z women are changing our culture. Mm -hmm. Most people would say, mm -hmm. oh, Gen Z women are so leftist. They're so bought into all of the lies of feminism. Um, well, uh, mm -hmm. and if you look at polling of like 20 people, yeah, sure. That probably would support that claim. But yeah, thanks. Shrink for the <laughs> Was did they was it Trump that said this was it or was it Biden? Somebody did a fact check on it. It's like, oh no, Snickers is not putting less chocolate into their oh for fuck's sake. Really? <laughs> are, we, are we really concerned about the size of a Snickers bar? I mean, for God's sake, the country's burning. Uh, and you're rearranging the fucking chairs. I mean, come on now. Easter Sunday says musical gear is looking going for cheap. Oh, cool. Yeah, I I don't know what I I already have too many guitars. And I know that's sacrilege. To some, what do you mean? You can never have too many guitars. But I feel bad when I don't play the guitar. And I got, I've got, how many? Good, I've only got three. I guess I got, I got a, a bass and I got a telly, my Mexican telly, which I haven't played for a long time, and a, an acoustic and a piano, two pianos. What do you need two pianos for? Shut up. I don't know. But I write about this in the book. I had a, an experience of being on the very viral whatever podcast about a year ago. And I was really nervous yeah. about doing this podcast. I yeah, rarely yeah, get okay. nervous for media. But for whatever reason, I was thinking they're going to eat me alive or try to say that I'm this horrible person. I'm going to be surrounded by OnlyFans pornography stars. And I don't know how I feel about Can that. You just Ian Blades is here. Hello, Ian. Have a, uh, <clears throat> have a nice cold beer. Sanche. Explain yes. to people who don't know exactly what, yeah. what it is, because I even did it, and I'm still not exactly sure what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it could be. Yeah, Easter Sunday says that that's why the gears... I don't know. I mean, I've got two amplifiers, well, three amplifiers. <laughs> now that I'm taking inventory, it's like, what the hell do you need two pianos for? Well, there's a story. Would you like to hear, would you like to hear the story? Okay, I'll tell you the story. I bought a freaking nice... I, I, I'm not sure if it's Casio or Yamaha. Really freaking nice. <clears throat> weighted keys, you know, 88, the whole thing, right? Really freaking nice. But I was in Arizona on a contract, and you know, I got a Jones. I was like, ah, I want to play the piano. And so I went out and got this thing. This is what it is. Oh, the Yamaha is the one I have here, and the other one must be the Casio, but it's a really nice freaking piano. But this one's got like sound effects and shit on it, so I, I kind of wanted to play with that too for the casts, you know. I don't, don't really use sound effects that much. Because I can't read the fucking thing. Sorry. Anyway, I, I, whatever I, podcast really took shape a uh, because yeah. they started bringing people on, big mm. groups of people on this podcast to start talking about dating and sex and relationships. And it was usually a handful of token, more conservative people and then literal porn stars or recovering sex. I mean, she's kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah. She has not, nice eyes. <clears throat> she does have a very low registered female voice, which I don't mind. 
you know, it's all right. Exotics or OnlyFans models across the table, and they would just hit go, hit play, and you would talk about whatever they end up talking about that night. Uh, So when I was on, we talked for five and a half hours. It was a very long podcast. And across the table from me was an active OnlyFans creator, a girl who was regularly acting in the porn industry, Mm -hmm. another girl who was a recovering sex addict, and she was very graphic about that experience for her, and then tons of other very liberal feminist Gen Z women. And I didn't know they were going to do this, but I showed up for the podcast and they used the picture of me in a MAGA hat on the thumbnail for the video. I'm like, <laughs> well, that's why we probably found that. <laughs> Joel Syme says, for all you guys that shop at Costco, Costco is closed Easter Sunday. That's right. Next week is Holy Week. So we've got uh, <clears throat> Easter, as you know, is calculated, is the first Sunday after the, is it the equinox or the full moon? Eh, it was one or the other. One of the, either the new or full moon. First Sunday after the first full moon after the spring equinox. So there you go. That's how they count. Cal- that's crazy. Those religious people. <laughs> but I mean, everybody celebrate. Well, I think Jewish people typically pass over to Easter kind of related. And I think right now it's the holy month of Ramadan for Muslim folks. So yeah, yeah it's, it's the holy time of the year. Like, great. Thank you for setting me up for this. I'm so excited. And we were standing outside the studio before and we're all introducing ourselves, nervous to talk to each other. And some girl said, can you believe there's a girl with a MAGA hat on this? <laughs> oh, my God. Riggs is here. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> Get the full body rubber, rubber suits here. <laughs> Ew. Get the disinfectant. Oh, the herpes mad. Is it? Ah, so really? not really. Uh, like, oh, oh, she... Oh, you're an so star. Oh, no. Right. Yeah. oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we... I mean, you, you, I could see what that could be a possibility. Yeah. Easter Sunday said, I was born on Easter Sunday. It won't hit my birthday again until I'm 74. My mother had, she was born April 13th, and I think she hit, she hit Easter a couple times. This is actually one of the early, early Easter's, right? The earliest Easter could be March 22nd, right? So the latest could be April 20th or something like that. So, okay. 28th sat down for this podcast and i had my guard up i was a little nervous about what this conversation was going to say i thought surely yes if you hit the full moon at the or the new moon at the equinox the full moon is 14 days right is it 14 or is it 28 i think it's 14 so it'd be uh 22nd plus 14 and then the next sunday so like three weeks we would get some viral good clippable moments out of it I am very humbly asking of you Donald Trump chip in five, ten, or even twenty-five dollars. Get on the Trump train. I know that times oh, yeah. could be tough, and they are tough under this horrible president that we have, crooked Joe Biden. Yeah. So if you can't contribute now, don't even think about it. Don't do it. You got to take care of your family and yourself. I want you to do that first. But with your donation today, we will win back the White House. We will make America great again, greater than ever before. I promise you that. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Well, what they're trying to do to Trump is is fucking immoral, illegal, and ridiculous. But we'll we'll do another cast with some politics because I have some shit to say about that. I've been listening to a lot of Dan Bongino lately. I don't know if you listen to Dan Bongino. He's got podcasts and, and streams, and he does a radio show. One of the greatest empires on WLS Chicago. Actually, he's nationwide uh-huh. in world history. Uh-huh. Ruled out of Rome. Oh, yeah. But it didn't end up being as viral as I was anticipating in the best way because mm. over the span of five mm. hours, we start talking about hookup mm. culture and how every single one of these women, including the porn stars and the OnlyFan creators, went around the table and started saying, Yeah, I feel really empty yep. after I have a meaningless hookup and I'm really tired mm. of just sleeping with as many men as possible. Every single woman around this table ended up saying, I feel like modern feminism has lied to me. I'm- well, I mean, the way they're trying to hose them, Shar. <laughs> You know, well, I mean, I did. I do believe Donald Trump during the campaign in 15, 16 said he was going to finance it himself. He didn't. Right. He was he was getting money. But I sent some money in and now I've regretted it for for 10 fucking years. Every day I open up my freaking phone. There's numerous texts and emails and even on my G my Gmail account, because I gave my other my real names on my, my real account. But then there's a Google name or the Google mail with the James Bond Maxwell. And I sent that name. I still get get hundreds of fucking emails from Donald Trump. (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm not happy. I don't feel fulfilled in my life. Oh, yeah. Easter. Well, maybe we'll do it next. Every single 
woman around the table said they were thinking about in the process of or just had recently quit their hormonal birth control, which is very radically countercultural, and especially mm -hmm. for women working in the porn industry. Yeah, yeah, but they yeah. were all saying, <clears throat> I felt sick. I felt poisoned. I yeah, that's because it is fucking poison. <laughs> There's a reason. I was it myself? I was depressed. I was anxious. I was suicidal all the time. And I didn't want to live like that anymore. Look. And I think it's easy to assume <clears throat> that Gen Z women especially are embracing the lies of feminism, especially when you see all of the rah, 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 go abortion, make a cake and shout it out on social media. And I don't mm -hmm. need a man. I'm just going to have my career. Very toxic content that you Yeah, see. no, <laughs> excuse me. I know women only, they, 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 expect you to fill in the blanks, right? They don't need a man. They need lots of men. Uh, they just don't want one man. Tied them down and shit. Uh, mm, boy, this beer is chunky this morning. I like it. See on the internet. But if you really think about... Yeah, feeling empty after miles. I mean, I've had not very many, but I've had one or two one-night stands. And it does, it's it's... It's not a good feeling. It really isn't. It's just like, oh, God. Probably because, you you know, the next day you're hungover. It's like, what the fuck did I do? Oh, God. But it's just, I don't know. It's it's not good. It's not good. So I would not recommend it. Although a lot of, a lot of people do it. But okay. Uh, where women are at in my generation today. The what CDC you do is you slam your shalami. Vashili, slam your shalami. <laughs> And uh, get the job done, and you'll think with a clear head. And we don't trust them, but it's fine. We'll come back to that <laughs> later. Came out with statistics a few months ago that in 2021... Yeah, it's uh, International Women's Month or something. Yeah, no. <clears throat> You go, girl. Yay! One in three teenage girls seriously contemplated taking her own life. Yep. Hmm. And that's heavy. I, that I know. I've heard this before. We'll listen to it again. <clears throat> but this whole birth control thing, this, this uh, whatever, the, the pill... Right. There's other stuff you can take, but the, the pill, read the freaking dangers involved with the birth control pill. You know, each packet comes with a pamphlet that says, okay, here are the possible things that could happen if you take this shit. Kidney disease, fucking cancer, breast cancer, all, it's fucking scary. So I'm not really surprised and it's really a, a good thing that uh, some of the younger women these days are saying, no, I'm not going to take that shit. That's good. Do the natural method, use a condom, pull out, whatever, right? There's ways to get around it. You don't have to, you know, alter your freaking mind with these hormones because basically the pill tricks your body into thinking you're pregnant all the time. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always pregnant. So it's just, it's crazy shit. Go ahead. A teenage girl who took her own life a few weeks before her 16th birthday, longtime family friend. And I think about her regularly when I'm researching all of these issues because she, like all of the women in our generation, are smack dab in the middle of people saying, being a woman is so terrible, you should just run away from that and yeah. not be a woman and we'll help you chop off your breasts when you're 15 years old like a Chloe Cole. You don't have to do this anymore. Ian, Ian Blades. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Ian, are you on the hooch again tonight? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's, yeah, I, I understand. Being a woman is actually about being a man and singing. DJ says the pill is a mood stabilizing anti-psychotic anti psychotropic, I'm sure. <clears throat> it tricks the uh, female body into thinking it's pregnant all the time so it doesn't release an egg. I believe that's what it does with the progesterone. And I, hey, I'm no expert at this, but uh, it certainly does something with their hormones so that the body doesn't release the egg and all that happy shit. And also think, <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> there's a, <clears throat> a thought process that women who are on the birth control pill choose beta men. And then when they get married to these beta men and they get off the pill, they suddenly realize, like, oh, what the fuck? What did I do? I don't want this guy. I want some masculine stud. <laughs> It's one of the, it's, it's crazy shit. It really is. It's, but it's nasty. It's nasty. About days of girlhood when you have a penis and you're sponsored by Tampax mm. and you don't know what it's like to actually be a woman, but you make tens of millions of dollars on TikTok, gaining 20 million followers overnight. I mean, <clears throat> the thing we could talk about, Dylan Mulvaney, who fucking follows this person? <laughs> it's like OnlyFans. 
right? You got a bunch of dudes out there spending money because this woman says hi to them on when they're doing their, come on now, come on. <clears throat> Women are just taking advantage of the situation. They wouldn't be making zip if men didn't give them money. My God in heaven. Oh my God. By appropriating women's culture. That's what being a woman is for our age CJ, and our generation. Stop. Being a woman is never expecting to have the joy of connection and long-term monogamous love in a marriage or with children because those things are evil. For you personally, yeah. that would sacrifice your career and your happiness. Oh my God, my career. Oh my God, I could be a slave to some fucking boss who doesn't even give a shit. <laughs> doesn't even know who I am. I got a career. Oh my God. I work at this, the insurance company, and I like, you know, do paperwork and shit. Oh my God, it's such a career. I mean, give me a break. <laughs> Fucking A. They changed job into career. Really? You know, do you think, say, a young, young person, uh, they want to have a career working at the fucking factory? <laughs> Maybe. That's what you want to do. Of course, what they're talking about is the, C-suite jobs and the CEOs because there's too many white evil men there. <laughs> oh my God. But also, so let's not be a slave so-called to our husband. Let's be a slave to the fucking company. Makes complete sense. For society at large because marriage is patriarchal and children are going to destroy the environment. And how Polska Bob is here. Oh my God. It's a, such a blessing when Polska Bob shows up on these streams because Polska Bob, <laughs> he's a lover <laughs> of the baby rock and we we got it. we love it dare you think that of your fellow man your fellow woman it's this horrifying time where it's genuinely impossible to be a woman and for all of its issues that i think a lot of people had with it yeah. the barbie movie kind of hit that on the head they actually said it's impossible to be a woman today i'm a barbie girl in a barbie world oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that was a cute song though that played it on the radio and when the best women are men in Hello, A4541, A54109. Good to see you. Society today, Welcome. that echoes throughout the, the halls shot. of our entire generation. Is that uh, the gender thing? Is that like the craziest <sighs> of the crazy things that you guys have been assaulted with? Yes. Because it was not... So wait, how old are you again? You're 20... Almost 27. You're yeah. almost 27. So you... Almost 27. <laughs> Hello, <clears throat> kitty, kitty. You're 27, so tw I got 20 years on you, so 20 years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Baby metal. Excuse me. <laughs> Baby metal. <laughs> Thank you, Polska, for the uh, mm, correction. It just was not a thing. You might have heard of someone who dresses a different way, and nobody cared even. Nobody cares. It's a personality. You, you, you want to you know, dress up in <clears throat> feminine-looking clothing, you're doing... So what? Have fun. I mean, what... Why are we even discussing changing the very foundations of our freaking countries? Because a couple of million people want to dress differently. So what? As I've said before, in the 70s, we had uh, <clears throat> trans, well, they were called transsexuals back then, but they were like drag queens. You know, they did shows and they just, it was fun. <clears throat> it wasn't this fucking political shit in your face. Oh my God, if you don't believe it, went, <laughs> All you got to do to set them back in their seats is simply say, okay, so you believe that a man says he's a woman, so he's a woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what if I say I'm a black dude? What if I say I'm an Asian dude? What if I say I'm seven feet tall? Yeah? No, 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 no. That's different. What if I say I'm a hamster? I identify as a hamster. Oh, no, no, that's different. Why is it different? So these people understand insanity when they hear it, except for the one thing. Well, if you believe you're a woman, then you're a woman. Bullshit. <laughs> Come on now. But then they turned it into something else and then just hit yeah. everybody on the in the head with that. Yes. I think gender <clears throat> is very much the biggest cultural issue of our time. And I don't think anybody is in denial of that or in debate over that. But people are portraying it in different ways. So great example. There's been studies dropped this. I, I know, Tom. I, I know. I, I know. There's going to be... Massive media presence coming to the hamster chat. Oh, my God. Look at this transpho. Oh, my God. He doesn't believe in him. The man with a penis. Can be, oh, my God. It's ridiculous. Everybody knows the truth. This is communism bullshit is what it is. You know the truth, but you have to agree with what is not true or else you're a bad person. Fuck 
that. I'm sorry. If Dylan Mulvaney wants to run around in, in dresses, good for him. I have a day. I don't care. You know, good luck, whatever. But they want to change the language. They want to change the government. We got state governments say, oh, this and the, you can have whatever. We want. No. <clears throat> Why are our politicians giving into this fucking lunacy? Because they don't care. They just want power. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Evil Trump, mega Nazi. This month that 30% of Gen Z women identify as LGBTQ plus uh -huh. and 20% right. of Gen Zers at large identify <clears throat> as LGBTQ plus. And if you look at the statistics, the exponential rise of that, it's not anywhere in the history of the world. And of course, what they say is, well, yeah, but just people were afraid. They didn't want to bullshit it's a mind virus we all know that it's a psychological contagion well yeah he's being trans so i should be trans too because i want attention too it's bullshit i'm sorry be whatever you want to be you want to be trans gay who cares i don't care <laughs> it's, it's fine it doesn't bother me you know live your life man you only get one of it or sorry it you only get one life it so live it but don't expect everybody in the fucking world to change around your little bubble. It's nonsense. But yet here we are, aren't we, guys? <laughs> here, here we are with the Democrat Party doing all the this crazy shit and the Republican Party, too. We have a uniparty in this country, guys. Come on. But, you know, that guy from uh, Texas, you know, he's a really, really... Why aren't they vetoing this shit? Look at this. Okay, I don't want to get too much into politics. But this, this Speaker of the House, uh, is it Johnson, Mike Johnson? Passed a $1.2 trillion fucking... Go so the government doesn't shut down. And oh my God, the wheels are going to fall off unless we pass this bill. Oh my God. And Trump fucked up because he didn't veto this shit. Right? Now I'm, not, I'm saying I think Trump's a little more correct than the left. <clears throat> but the Speaker of the House has the power to say, no, we're not voting on that. Didn't. He's a goddamn rhino, just like the rest of them. It's a uniparty. <clears throat> just understand that as T0, ground zero, this is where it is. They're the same. That's it. Now, there's a few, you know, this uh, Marjorie Taylor Green or Lauren Boebert or, you know, some mavericks out there, I suppose. But for the vast majority. They're the same, except for one or two issues, abortion and guns. <clears throat> the rest, it's all the fucking same. Donald Trump, when he was president, and he'll probably be the president again, <clears throat> when they come up with this nonsense, oh my God, our hair's on fire, everything's going to fall apart, the fucking wagons are going to lose their wheels, Children in the streets, dogs and cats sleeping together if we don't pass this $1.17 trillion fucking thing. Donald Trump should say, no. I'm not signing shit <clears throat> until you give me this, thus, and such. Fuck the government. Shut it down. Now, the Republicans tried that during Obama, <clears throat> but of course, the press, the uh, <laughs> hound dogs of the press, Oh, those evil Republicans, they don't want the veterans to see their fucking thing. No, no, that was Obama who shut that down. They didn't have to shut that down. <laughs> but again, I, I, let's, talk, let's talk about women and shit. Go ahead. Is that alarming? Yes. Does that speak to the fact that teenagers in particular are being targeted with this over the head, being beaten with a club? Every MGTOW, outlaw, oh my God. <clears throat> I saw a video today. You were going to do some cooking shit. And it's like some other dude. So, man, we, we, we might pull it up just for you every single day no matter where they look and those letters yeah. have nothing yes. to do with each other so there's Correct. a lot of confusion right. on that yeah. but they also mean nothing so right. i, I we right. talked about this on the show mm -hmm. but the plus sign getting new letters added to it every single day literally to self identify as lgbtq plus right. might mean saying i'm demisexual and dave to let you know what demisexual you told me once and yeah, I what still the fuck does that mean <clears throat> i think demisexual i'm trying to keep track of it honestly i'm making an effort i'm i'm, I'm sincerely trying to Figure out what the fuck's going on. I think demisexual is you don't have sex with people unless you're attracted to them. 
Oh, <laughs> okay. So what do you like? I'm sexually attracted to some people, but not all oh. people, but especially people I have a romantic connection with. I mean, it's ridiculous. What does that mean? I want to. I want to fuck people I I think are hot. <laughs> so I'm a demisexual. Oh God, make it make it make sense, people. So like you're, literally every human being just means you're an old soul. Yes, yeah. it means you're a person, a yeah. functioning human being with yeah. a brain. Oh, Easter Sunday says I'm a trisexual. <gasps> yeah. a soul. Congratulations. Yeah. So I think those numbers are really hyperinflated. It goes back to that cycle of manufactured outrage. Mm. But to bring things full circle on young women in particular yeah. and why i see a lot of hope young men i think we've already won them over a yeah, i think you're right tom <laughs> i just have to be part of the alphabet so let's see i'm not lesbian i'm not gay i'm not bi i'm not trans huh With, how can i fit in the alphabet i'm demisexual <clears throat> i'm too spirit <laughs> get the fuck out of here but he came out a couple weeks ago saying 17 year old boys are over 70 all right polska gosh darn it we would like to see you drive around. So maybe next Saturday when you're out delivering, we can get you because your your fucking comments and your video are golden. I love that. That wildly conservative, the most they've been in 50 years. So they're happy. They're taking care. You don't think he's playing too much Fortnite? No, actually, but he could probably stand to do a couple more <laughs> nights of reading. <laughs> CJ, that's fucking brilliant. By yourself. <laughs> God almighty. Ah. <sighs> That's why we come here, people. We've got quality content. We got people who listen are fucking sharp as a tack. That was a good comment. Thank you. Instead of <laughs> different conversation for a different time. Wow, wow. Um, Gen Z women are broken, and I think that's of the course they're fucking retarded. Polska, yes, it's crazy. Garrett Grant is here. Hello, go. Starting point that we can take to change well, no, culture for the better spirit. moving forward. We don't have to escape our womanhood. We don't have to buy into the lies of feminism. And culturally, you're seeing that shift start happening now. The quitting of the birth control, the of dating apps, the, the idea that we want to get married again, which seems so, like a non-issue. Like everybody would want that, but we haven't for so long that we're reclaiming that for ourselves. And that cultural swing takes some time as we're continuing to grow up. They're still teenagers, but absolutely will impact the political realm too. If you're looking for jobs, you check out our politics playlist. And if you want to watch full interviews on a variety of topics, watch our full Whoa. episode playlist. All that kind of freaked out. <laughs> what the hell happened there? Okay, let me <clears throat> let me go get another one. Easter Sunday said he had something. So we'll go look at Easter Sunday. All right, hold on. Easter Sunday underscore Sunday. All right, underscore Sunday. It's political. And here, what? wait a minute. Where the hell are you? I don't see you. I saw you in my subscriptions. What the fuck? Hold on. Sorry for this interruption and your enjoyment of this channel. I just need to find it. Okay, where's Easter? I, 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 son of a bitch. Father Saunders has one. Uh, Easter? Oh, my God. Where are you? Oh, no. I swear I saw it this morning. Oh my God. Oh, let's see here. Uh, damn it. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a lawyer. Okay. So I can't find you. Can you send a link? Can you put the link in the uh, chat? Easter? No, it will you just send the link. <laughs> send, send me the link. Just put it in the chat here. I'll, I'll get it. Just takes a moment. All right. Mm. Mm. Yeah, hold on. Yes. Hold on. Riggs Jr. just farted on hamster. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. Uh, even I'm sure I'm sure I wouldn't like the result. Let me guide. Okay. And, uh, we're waiting. <clears throat> we are waiting. We're waiting. Uh, we might have to do another one. Just put it in the uh, chat. Share this one. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. There it is. Okay. Hold, on. hold it. Here it comes. Show. And how do I? It's not linking. It's an idiot. Hide. Let's see. Can I copy the fucking thing? Well, let me copy the fucking thing. Oh, no. All right. Hold on here. There's got to be a way. 
No, there's not. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's just, uh, what is, just put your channel name in the uh, chat. Just put your channel name in there. Is it Easter underscore Sunday? Come on now. <clears throat> Let me go back here. God dang it. Sorry about this, guys. Subscriptions. I know it's fucking here. There it is. Yeah, I knew it. Well, it was there until it's, now it's not. There it is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Where's my... Where is it? There it is. All right. We can share. I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. And we even got some music. We got some tunage here. This is perfect. Thank you. Yes, I want to do that. Uh-huh. And it's what? Oh, okay. Hold on. Share. There we go. Yes. <laughs> now we're cooking with gasoline. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Easter Sunday. Go for it. Good morning. The topic of this video is that it all seems to be spiraling out of control. The issue at the border is spiraling out of control. Government spending is spiraling out of control. As far as geopolitical warfare overseas, the narrative is being lost, as is the script, as events are spiraling out of control. I figure at this point, as far as the fate of our nation, it's going to take two paths, maybe one, probably both. The United States of America will either balkanize or it will face a tyranny, no matter what happens, no matter who is elected. Oh, granted, it'll be for completely different reasons, but the tyranny will come all the same. If Donald Trump is elected, <laughs> King Trump, Trump. Yep. you will see a deportation effort. that is unprecedented in the history of the United States of America. It will require a tyranny to complete that. Joe Biden or Anita Sinkovitz keep power for the Democrats. You will see the United States balkanized while simultaneously, excuse me, facing tyranny through online communications and commerce as they seek this to be the means of control for society. But what will happen inevitably spending and that money continues to become increasingly worthless. They will lose the actual ability and resources to control many of these areas called the United States of America. And these areas will be ceded to the cartels as far as actual physical, I guess, uh, governance, uh, yeah. authority. You'll be living under their laws. Sounds nice. This is what faces us as a nation as things spiral out of control. I would ask anybody to pray for God's, I guess, what do you want to call it? Well, maybe forgiveness, but uh, may we all be delivered through the inevitable, which will be either the division or the tyranny. God bless. Take some Jesus pills. That's what we got to do. That was really good. <clears throat> what I'd like to see, Easter, can we do the... Wow, now, wow, because that's an ACDC guitar. No, that's what it's what, a fly. Is it a Gibson SG? Is that what it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Or, a, or a clone. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I've got some other stuff that I want to pull up. So if you'll bear with me one second, we will find it. Oh, my God. Brandon True Blood. Brandon True Blood is live. What are we going to do? I don't know. All right, <clears throat> we could pull up this woman. Oh, happy wife school. Driving D&D, &D, then more driving. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Hold on. 
Nope, I didn't do that right. Okay. And there's no sound. Brandon, why do you do that? All right, let's go here. See what this looks like. Maybe there'll be sound. I hope so. So this is happy wife school. <clears throat> why do women cheat? Uh, well, because <laughs> they get horny. I don't know. Hold on. Why does it, why does StreamYard do that? They move the button. Why do they do that? That's crazy. All right. Let's see if I can uh, get this thing pulled up here. Hold on. Let's get the app. Go. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, Dad. The oh, pharmacy God. called. Sounds like you still haven't picked okay. up your heart yeah, medicine. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the reality? Only, the only pills my daddy needs is a bottle of Johnny Walker Red. Well. <laughs> That's what you got to do. Oh. Eat barbed wire for breakfast. So if oh, you are yeah. in this situation or thinking of it, it is time. To put yeah. your big girl pants on and step mm. up to the commitment that you made, the choices you made. This woman almost has a cry in her voice all the time. It's kind of I, I, I on the like inside. It. And when you do that, you will value yourself enough and make yourself important enough uh, to you, uh, you that you would never. And you will begin to see the wonderful, amazing man that you are married to and have depth of connection and intimacy Ooh. with oh. him that far surpasses come on now <laughs> richie come on now any fantasy of passion and desire a bad boy could give you <laughs> there's a depth of experience and profoundness in marriage <laughs> when you can bring your whole self of who oh you are my into God. the marriage yeah well hey and you find know, the, the truth true hurts. nature of your love <laughs> con loving kind nurturing ways in you for you you're not wrong. <laughs> and to give that freely in your marriage with your husband okay. and married to a good man, the dance that you will have together, the true intimacy that you will have, can't even come close no call to the out. feelings that we get saying? with a bad boy because those are not real. Okay. Okay. So it's time to grow up. Like I said, it's time to work on you. The reason you're having right. an affair or considering having an affair isn't right. anything to do do with your husband or your marriage mm -hmm. it is all about you okay and how you feel poorly about yourself that that's what you need okay okay no. for the right. men for the men men it's interesting can be with a good man and he will never cheat if she is just loving and kind i mean really genuinely you know, I mean, just just be nice, really. This is good advice. Just don't be a bitch. And you as a man, don't be a fucking asshole. Don't treat your woman wrong, man. How hard is this? You know, really, if you think about it, how fucking hard is it? Just don't be nasty to the person you're, you know, you sleep with and you live with. Come on. Oh, my God. Jesus. How did we lose this common sense? <laughs> there is nothing a good man. Don't be a fucking asshole and don't be a bitch. It's simple. Why? This is not hard at all. My God. And can do or change or stop doing that can huh? prevent your wife from having an affair. Well, and not all women you can do will have that. an affair. Like I said, the women who are Sorry. going to have an affair in a previous relationship before I got married on the inside. And then the entitlement I had to pursue mm. yeah. what I thought would make me happy, which mm. was the fantasy of love. People cheat so poorly about themselves. So not all women are going to cheat or have an affair on their husbands. For but for those men who are experiencing that or, or scared, you might be nothing wrong. And that there's nothing you can do to stop your wife from doing what she is going to do. That she feels entitled to it. And she's going to do what she wants to do. Uh -huh. And I know this is hard to hear. And I'm not 
at all making excuses for women. I don't condone cheating for women or for men, but good men need to know. Because what I mean, tw you 24, you guys, what? Brainwashing what am I, chop liver over here? Feel it's somehow your fault <laughs> and something you right. have done <clears throat> that you need. No, it's nothing you have. Let's see if uh, what's Alice have to say here. Hold, hold on. Oh. Ah, yes. Yes. Alice, 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 Alice. Okay, Alice. Give us your wisdom. Oh. So welcome back to my channel. I want to start this video by reading you a tweet that was published by Political Europe okay. in September yeah. 2022. So in 1992, a 15-year-old schoolgirl went to join her local branch of the far-right youth front in Rome. The all-male group of radicals met yeah. her with amusement. 30 years later, Giorgia Meloni is on course to become Italy's first female prime minister. Yeah. I could end the video here, to be honest, but I'm not going to do that because we have a lot of overthinking to do. Uh, clearly, she's uh, in Quebec. Oh, she's from Quebec. <laughs> There's no question. Oh, my God. Together. Um, so here we go. What I like about this tweet is that it is the perfect example. Go ask Alice. If she's 10 feet tall. Of the fact that a lot of people have no clue what feminism is. That's a good In that one. case, we're dealing with liberal media that woman decides Georgia Meloni's rise as a fascist girl boss. Hashtag go girl, hashtag if she's representation 10 feet matters. Tall. Now, the reason. The reason why I titled this video how uh, liberal oh, feminism God. turned into fascism isn't to say that every single liberal is what a. What was the name of that song? White Rabbit? Was that the. One pill makes you crazy and one pill makes you small. Fascist in disguise. Yeah, let's get small. can be a bit reductive and ah. counterproductive, in my opinion. However, it is true that centrism, liberalism, loves right. to um, resist polarization by seeking a middle ground. In order to yeah. do that, they look at the variety of... I don't know, this sounds way too... Uh, hmm, something. But she's cute. ...opinions you know, there, there's voiced that. on mainstream media. <laughs> That's what we called the overtone oh, winder, meaning I mean, all matter? the ideas and opinions that are deemed acceptable at a given time in the media. Now that overtone winder changes with time. It may be more on the left, it may be more on the right. That's why when we talk about liberals right. seeking a middle ground, we have to keep in mind this idea of the overtone winder. The middle ground that YouTube uh, channels uh, like yes. Jubilee and uh, liberal media yes. in general seek at all time is not a middle ground amongst that exist. It's a Most middle ground mean, among all me. the opinions excuse within me. the frame. Uh, if the middle ground also be more on the right and vice She might be uh Denmark. Not sure. Trying to figure out the acts. Could be Denmark. Could be, could be. Yeah. Versa. That's why many scholars, uh, commentators argue that there is no such thing like as Frenchy, centrism. But, uh, centrism is know. always relative to the state of the overtone window. I know this is a bit technical and Yes, yeah, I, I bet Danish. Danish or Amsterdam, maybe. Maybe that. All right, Ugh. let's try this one. Dr. Random or Cam? Okay. Tucker Carlson versus Constituency, Quist. as you quiz well. well no, well. it's not black voters. They always say this, black voters, no. Victim. They're also interested in married women because married women can get divorced, and that is a trillion dollar treasure trove. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The car makers, the real estate. Everybody wants single women. I wonder why. Well, let's see. <clears throat> Johnny, what does that mean for the economy? <clears throat> well, we're going to sell twice as many fucking houses and we're going to sell twice as many goddamn cars, twice as many fucking TVs and shit. Yeah. Women's live, baby. Oh, yeah, do it. And so they do a lot of different things. Oh, yeah. And, and plus the, uh, well, the, uh, the upward pressure on the wages in this country will not be there because we have twice as many. Oh, my God. It's to discourage marriage. I wonder why, you know, there was a time when, you know, one income could support a family. Uh, and then the, the, the liberation, and now we can't even support a fucking family. with I know. It's crazy. <sighs> One might think it was a plan all along. And fertility, one of them is that up a little bit. paying single moms 
not to be married. Another is mm-hmm. constantly promoting anti-fertility measures like abortion and birth control. Now, if you guys don't know, this is <clears throat> Tucker Carlson, who's a Nazi. And uh, <laughs> and uh, one of the Cuomo brothers, who I don't think he was the governor. I think it's Chris Cuomo. And Dr. Randa McCam, who quit drinking. <laughs> He's funnier than ever. I love it. Yeah, they pay women to be mothers, and they pay women not to be mothers. They pay uh, women no matter what they do, Tucker, and they pay them with the money and resources they steal from men. Mm-hmm. Somewhere over the Hungarian rainbow. See, the hunger, uh, Hungarian thing is, is good, right? To encourage more uh, women to have children, uh, they give them tax subsidies and shit like that. Ah, okay. Problem is they didn't make sure <laughs> they don't have to be married right? They could be single. So I wonder what's going to happen in 10 years. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what might be happening. in 10. Oh. Or Ben, you got kind of your shit together a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but you fucked up. See, the tax subsidies should only be in effect for people who are married. Just saying. I know. And you have no hope of changing this as long as you are pushing on the exact same open door. I can't. Pushing on the same goddamn string. It never seems to work. I know. Take this anymore. Yes, I can. Be strong, Mike. They actively yes, work Mike. Be to strong. prevent women from forming families. And- I know you I, I know you want to grab a bottle of Jack and go crazy. I get it. I understand. I'm probably an alcoholic myself. So I understand. Don't, don't, don't do and it. I think that that's evil, and I don't think it serves women. I think he quit smoking, too. It's good for opinion. him. See what I tell you? I He's now smoking. taking us on the family's the most important thing train. Tucker, men do have a duty to protect and provide for their families, and they would love nothing more uh-huh. than to do so, but they are not allowed mm, to. Little details. What? <laughs> what are you saying, Mike, Mr. Randomer Cam, doctor? Excuse me. You earned that degree. You deserve to be called the doctor. Not in any hands-on capacity because of the political entities you are complaining about. You're complaining that those entities actively work to prevent women from forming families. When they do nothing of the sort, they actively work to prevent men from forming families or even being in one. Mm. They actively work to deny men the benefits of having a family and to deny men the benefits of anything that serves their own interests and anything that does not serve the interests of women because they hate men. And anything that does not serve the interests of women because they hate men. And anything that does not serve the interests of women because they hate men. But they do like <clears throat> they do like them a bunch of men who are tax slaves to support this bullshit, don't they? Don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking know that. Tucker. And they are trying to protect women from men. Yes. If you don't like that crack, then for the love of all that is true, for the love of all that is just, all that is pure, all that is lovely, all that is of good report. If there be any virtue and there be any praise, if you don't like that crack, then stop smoking it. <laughs> Get a different brand of crack. Is that possible? <laughs> Probably. <sighs> Shannon Bream is the best thing on Fox. Uh, I think I know who that is. Yeah. Candace went up on Fox. Wasn't she there already? Maybe not. If she might. She might. Yeah. Who knows? Go on. Uh, uh, all right, that's all, folks. Don't hit like, don't hit subscribe, don't hit the name. But please, too. Because, oh, did, 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 did we wait a minute? This is a 35 minute video. I guess I hit the wrong fucking button. I'm sorry. Let's try it again. Oh, we get a commercial. Good. Good. <laughs> Great. Microsoft Co Pilot. There we go. It jumpstarts your creative juices. 
Uh, the juices will be flowing with this Microsoft product. Grow oh, goody. Goody. Like flowing like a tsunami out of my pussy. I mean, God, look at that. Fucking A, man. That's a, that's a, that's an advantage to the world. We screwed up. Yeah. Our warehouse is overloaded. Candace was fired from the Daily Wire because she disagreed with Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring <clears throat> on the whole conflict in the Middle East, Israel, Palestine. Now, what do I think about that? Why do you care what I think about that? I'm going to tell you what I think about that. I think we need to stop killing people. Just don't. <laughs> don't kill people. Just stop that. You know, let's work it out. Let's figure something out. Let's not kill everybody. You know, that's a bad idea. Not give you Jewish, Palestinian, Arab, whatever. Just stop killing people. That would be a good start. In Russia, today, I believe, there was a terrorist attack at some concert. Why? Why are you killing innocent people? You might not like Russian politics, whatever, but, but you're going to mow down a bunch of concert goers. What, what's the fucking point? Especially against Putin. Putin doesn't fuck around. <laughs> He's going to get you. Why would you do this? Kill innocent kids, women, children, men. Just go into a fucking concert. Why? Oh, you get attention on, on fucking YouTube or whatever? <laughs> really? Is that what this is all about? So here's my plan for Palestinian Israel peace. Stop killing each other. Stop. Stop it. Release the hostages, negotiate, get, get into a fucking room and figure it out. Stop the killing. Is that anti-Semitic? Is that anti-Islamic? Uh, no. Just stop killing each other. I mean, it's I know it's it's simplistic, but I'm kind of a simplistic guy. I'd rather not have people getting fucking mowed down. I'd rather not have that. That's not good. That's bad. So stop. Pretty easy. So I don't know where, where the hell I skipped ahead here, but go ahead. But if I applied it to you, I would that... pass in flying colors because I know how to beat the test. How did I? <laughs> and I, can, I, I can tell. Hold on. Fic about Chris Cuomo. Now, again, bodybuilders does not equal UFC fighters. Sergeant Grant says it was Islamic separatists in Moscow. And so to get their political point across to Putin, they're going to they're gonna kill a bunch of people. Do, do, do they not know what's going to happen? You guys remember a few years ago, 10, 15 years ago, um, I, I think it was in Georgia, there were some terrorists that took over something. And, you know, Putin doesn't fuck around. He went in and killed everybody. Everybody. Even the hostages. <laughs> it was a horrible situation. But Putin doesn't fuck around. Okay. Call him what you will. He's a, he's a terrorist, a Nazi, whatever. He doesn't fuck around. Oh, you're going to take over this thing? We're going to kill everybody in the fucking building. Now, I don't agree with that. I don't want people getting killed. I think that's a bad idea. But you're going to go up against this guy <laughs> with, the, with the KGB and the FSB and all the fucking... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What? What's the matter with you people? A male bodybuilder could kick a female bodybuilder's ass. A male UFC fighter <laughs> could kick a female UFC fighter's okay. ass. Yeah, yeah. But we're not yeah, comparing yeah. like with like. A woman who has sufficient training can effortlessly murder a man who does <clears> not. <throat> with Easter Sunday said he was in that region when that... that it, was it Bezalel? It was Georgia, I think, right? They just went in and fucking all of them, everybody in the building, done. <laughs> Again, I don't agree with killing innocent people. I never will. But Putin is not me, <laughs> right? He did not fuck around with those people. So whoever did this murder of 160 people or whatever the hell in Moscow, 
at a goddamn concert just having a fucking good time and these bad guys come in and shoot they're they're done these people are probably worm food already did they not know this seriously come on now with her bare hands no less the whole point of martial arts is knowing how to turn your opponent's strength into a weakness knowledge is power you know this tucker you're just choosing to ignore the power that comes with knowing that no, I mean yeah. you're not you're not wrong, Rich. <clears throat> Humans are violent. Men are violent physically, women are violent psychologically. We've always been fucking hairless monkeys that try to kill all the other hairless. It's ridiculous. But again, we are 2024. We we live in supposedly civilized societies for the most part. So we don't go out and kill our neighbor because their dog's barking. We don't do that. Because we have a sense of morality. We have a sense of, yes, I understand this pisses me off, but my lizard brain is telling me I should go out and off this person. But my higher brain function says, that's ridiculous. Let me go talk to the neighbor. Right? Back in caveman days, it didn't happen. <laughs> right? <clears throat> they just went off and, oh, I want your cave. Boom, kill everybody. And we're still doing this shit today letting the lizard brain take over the higher brain function. It's fucking ridiculous. I don't understand why they're... Again, the fact that I don't understand the thinking of these people that would go in there and do this, I think is a positive. Why would you do that? I know it just, maybe it makes me normal. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm telling you. I you have, have a polygraph exam, and I'd want to have to do, do this on camera, okay? But if I applied it to you, I would I, pass in flying colors because I know how to beat the test. <laughs> oh, great. And I can, I, I can tell you how if you want to cool. know. That's why no, they're not I admissible don't. in court. Yeah, he's a, he's a seasoned CNN reporter. He, if he's an expert yeah. in anything, it's lying. Oh, well, he's very good at that. Oh, God, he's good at that. Although it's almost common knowledge at this point. You beat a polygraph test by micro-puckering your anal sphincter at random Ooh. intervals because oh. that's what that's what the test is, is measuring for at non-random intervals so you i mean do you have to put your balls up your ass how does this i don't know i'm, I'm naive i don't know how you make the holograph test you trick it into the difference i'd probably fail the fucking poly i have no idea you're supposed to pucker your asshole during the time uh, sure all right the more okay. you know Bingo. but can i just ask you like you know in your heart you don't actually think there's a single woman. No, I really do. Who, what's her name? I really do. I know. I, the whole point is is that I don't have to know Here them by go. person. Men and women are, are very different, much Here more different. Professional cage fighters and professional news anchors are also very different, at least as different as men and women, to be honest. I do understand generalized statements, but when you say not one woman... It's not a generalization. It's this is Dr. Random Cam. I will put the linky in the description. He doesn't do as much as he used to, but boy, I tell you, he's got archives, man. If you like this guy, he's got so much stuff. And he's really good. And he quit drinking and smoking. So he's part of the uh, Honey Badger radio crew. So I don't know if you're, you're familiar with the Honey Badgers, but uh, it's Karen Strawn and, and some other people. I think Lauren is in there and uh, some other folks. So you can look up Honey Badger Radio. And there's probably a link in Random or Cam's uh, channel. So go ahead. It's as specific as you can possibly get. And in the arena of dishonesty, you yeah. are giving the CNN shill a run for his money. Yeah, We spend all of our time on racial differences. Uh -huh. Your race, my race, and there are differences between races. There is no difference between races that's a quarter as profound as the difference between sexes. I see. Absolutely, but that's not what you were talking about. <laughs> Obfuscation and misdirection. <laughs> it's the hallmark of these people. These are biological differences that are physical. Yeah, of course he's a blue pill guy. <laughs> we know that. Again, we hear sweet words. Mellifluous. Beautiful. Oh, my God. We get seduced by these silver-tongued devils or even gold-tongued devils. But underlying that, they're fucking all blue pill betas. Oh, my God. But you should marry the women because reasons and shit. And what about divorce? Well, fuck that. Take the chance. 
Daily Wire. Uh huh. Oh, God. Psychological or hormonal. Well, These that's kind of the found difference. But that's kind of the point about drawing racial distinctions is oh. that you're really the same. And obviously, that's, biologic that's my point. What did Martin Luther King Jr., the great man, say? 60 years ago. What did he say? <clears throat> I want my children to be judged on the content of their character, not the color of their skin. And here we are 60 years later. We have Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We've got statues of the great man in Washington and other places. We've got Martin Luther King Jr. boulevards all over the, the, the country. But we don't really fucking listen to what he said. Why is that? Why are there no statues to Malcolm X, for example? Also kind of a radical Marxist type. But he calmed down, right? <clears throat> he didn't believe in some of the bullshit. He went on his own way. You know what happened to Malcolm X? I think you know. If you don't play by their fucking game plan, you are gone. You think it was just one guy that took out Martin Luther King Jr.? Just saying. Think it was just a random dude <laughs> picked up a rifle? You're not that naive, right? You know what happened. We don't have to say it here. <clears throat> it wasn't a random dude who got pissed off and got a rifle and shot Martin Luther King Jr., That's all I need to say about that. That's not your point, Tucker. Your point was not one woman can kick Chris Cuomo's ass. Or Bobby Kennedy. Or Malcolm X. Oh, it's just random people going crazy. Really? Really? Come on now. Come on. That's a very specific point. If you had kept it to generalized statements, then you would have a point, but you ruined it by making it personal. Let this now, be. A what would be the reasons, do you think, that. I don't know. I'm not going to accuse anybody. Let's just say it's uh, Darth Vader wanted to take out Martin Luther King Jr. Why would he want to do that? Why would he want to take out Bobby Kennedy? Why? Any ideas? Be a lesson to everyone. When you have to make it personal, you only undermine yourself. I do so solemnly wish more people understood this. Biologically, you're different. But what I'm saying, I don't see it as a less than. Oh, wait uh, a minute. Martin Luther King Jr., he was a whore master. He fucked all these... <laughs> yeah. Let you with... Uh... No sin cast the first stone. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, can women lift as much weight as men on average? Of course not. That is less than. Not as much is less than. I know less isn't necessarily worse, but it is necessarily less. A great man doesn't have to be perfect because there's no perfection on this planet, among men and women. The only perfect human that has ever been here was Jesus Christ, if you're a Christian. There's no perfect men, but there are good men. There are decent men that fight for things that matter, like MLK. God, such a coincidence when he was preaching about racial harmony that he was whacked well, i don't know how that happened it could <laughs> just didn't mm. people like to say that little adage less is more but it literally isn't when people say less is more they mean to say less is better but they're doing it by substituting better with more in the implicit assumption that more yeah, is Corey better Lee, i love <laughs> random cam's fucking He's on point. And his girlfriend, Lauren, hell of a singer. Now, if you want to look it up, I think it was 2018. 
<clears throat> it was me and it might have been 2020. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was me, Lauren, his girlfriend, and you know who he is, Terrence Pop and Blake. We did an election coverage thing on 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 uh, Pop's channel. I thought it was pretty good, but and Lauren's she's she's such a cutie. Oh my God, he's a lucky dude. They're trying to say less is better by saying more is better. It's what we call a deepity. It sounds whimsically profound until you realize it's paradoxically nonsensical and a complete... I think you're right, Mr. Easter Sunday. <clears throat> Ron Paul says, the JFK assassination. Mark the change. Yes. Lost control of the government. Why do you think John F. Kennedy... Was taken out by some random guy who was pissed off. Had a bad day. Had nothing to do with anything else. Just some random guy. And conveniently, the next day, he was also murdered. <laughs> Just who knows? And we won't know until 2075. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why they're keeping that hidden. I don't know. I don't know, Vern. <laughs> so you had John F. Kennedy Jr. You had Bobby Kennedy Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. Malcolm X, these four men were taken out by random people who got pissed off and had a bad day. Right? Complete waste of breath. I don't know why I let the little things annoy me so much. Probably because it's funny. No, no, no. Um, I'm making a different the physical opposite argument. Villains. It's not less than. I like women better. And I think that my job, all of our jobs as men, is to treat women differently, comma, and better than we treat men. Of course, because you're a blue pill fucking cock. We should obviously treat women better because they're women. And, oh, those men having suicide problems. And, oh, and, 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 nothing compares to the suffering of women. So we got to do all kinds of shit. Right? Tucker? <laughs> Is that right? What about the men? Oh, wow. Fucking men should suck it up. Pull the bootstraps up. And Is there any universe where these people think men actually have some issues? And is there any universe where anyone gives a fuck? It's just all so tiresome. That is the idea. Oh, that's chivalry. Yeah, okay, honey. Good luck in a world without it. Through a medieval lens, it's called chivalry. Through a Roman lens, it's called romance. Through a modern lens, it's called feminism. They're all... <laughs> yes. Just contemporary variations on the theme of women are better than men. Don't you know they are, though? I mean, God, they hold up half the world, 51% of it. What about the other half? Who the fuck is holding that up? Oh, wait a minute. It's other women that aren't holding the other? No, it's men. Jesus Christ. We're all here. We're all humans. <clears throat> We're all trying to make it through this life of ours in the, in the nicest way possible, you know? I want nice things. I want a house. I want a car. And all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> Seems women, though. Modern women, they don't want to have to work for that shit. They just want it free. They get free cock all the time. And they think, well, everything else should be free, too, because otherwise it's oppression. Oh, my God, I'm not the CEO of fucking the company. So, then, oh, my God, it's a women. I'm a woman. Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, we're, we're going off the cliff, boy. It ushered the collapse of the Roman Empire, and now it's ushering the collapse of this one. Good luck with it, honey. And I'm serious. No, you're just an idiot, silly. Tucker. You're not just silly. You're a willful idiot. Now, maybe he's doing his reporter shit. Well, i got to play devil's advocate. I don't think that's true. I think, Tucker, you have no idea. 
sir. You've been married for 25 fucking years. You don't know what's going on out here with the women, and neither do I. That's a fair fucking point. I can observe. I can look. And I know 30 years ago, women were not like this. Women were fun. They smelled nice, and they had they were smiling. What do we see now? Uh, uh, fuck, uh, fucking men. Uh, 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 uh. Every goddamn thing is not their fault. Even the choices they make. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh, I would say it's bullshit. On second thought, let us not go to Camelot. Tis a silly place. If you got into an argument, and I know you well enough uh -huh. to know, if you're standing in a restaurant and someone's like, fuck you, Chris Cuomo, you'd punch him out. If a woman did that... Depends where my cash oh, flow is. <laughs> I really don't have a lot you of would capital want to, right now. You would want to. You're quick with I mean, I have to admit, you know, Chris Cuomo's, he's bagging some heat. You know, he's got some, he's got some fucking guns. I would definitely I, want to. I happen to know that. Uh -huh. yes. Thank you both so very much for giving me the opportunity to express the following rant in the oh, we've been waiting for it. context of a video, albeit yes. a tangent. Don't Thank take you. it personally. I'm not talking to these two right now. I'm talking to you lot. Earlier this week, Elon Musk posted this on Twitter, and it yeah. sparked my interest for reasons I'll explore presently. Trying to help Good. people understand Good. what's going on right now is like going back into a burning building to pull someone out, only to have them keep punching you in the face and demand evidence that the building is on fire, even after they admit they can see the flames. Mm. <laughs> evidence that the building is on fire even after they admit they can see the flames demand evidence that the building is on fire even after they admit they can see the flames see what that is it's a metaphor oh well simile i guess which is like a metaphor it's kind of like a metaphor up in liverpool it's very common to use being punched in the face as a metaphor for something else. It's to elevate an idea, to, to emphasize how bad it would be if it were not just abstract, but physically actualized into concrete reality. Normally, that's a step you have to take from one realm to another in mm -hmm. order to help people understand. Because everyone understands how punching someone in the face is uncontroversially wrong, especially when unprovoked. <laughs> Does anyone see where I'm going with this? Yes. Yes, we do. Many people believe, not just metaphorically, but literally and sincerely believe that men need to be punched in the face. Yes. They're called feminists. Because over millennia, <laughs> millions of zillions of years, men have always been pushing those women down. What? God damn. How do you believe this? <laughs> Honestly, how do these fembots believe this crap? Women have been on pedestals probably since the dawn of fucking time. And they still think they're oppressed in 2020 fucking four. <laughs> Jesus, God almighty. What the fuck? Or else they're not real men. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, real men. Again, not a metaphor. Actually, already in the realm of Actually, concrete reality. Me. People say this and mean it. Excuse me. Uh, there's a uh, mm -hmm, song by Joe Jackson called Real Men. Look that up. Real Men. From his album in 1982. It's beautiful. I think Joe Jackson is, he might be gay. I don't know. But that song is very powerful. <clears throat> so I will try to find the link to it here. But there you go. And you have to wonder how the fuck they intend to raise their sons. They'll say this and then they'll go, what? That's, that's not, that, that, I don't hate men. That's not misandry. You should punch men in the face. It's, 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 it's a truism. I know I sound like Antifa talking about Nazis, but that's just, that's just, that's just this thing. Come on, man. Get defeated mm. already. Right, see what, Do you, yeah. you, you might think that being oh, good... Right. At physical combat is what makes a man. But no, no, it's being bad. So bad that you lose. 
See, a man who has himself in a hundred fights and to loan his family. Oh, but a man who has started a hundred fights and lost every single one of them. Oh my God, what a giga Chad. <laughs> You're a hundred times more of a man than that shit bird over there will ever be. Well fucking done. Let's go around again. You're so manly. Yes. You're so manly. Real. Oh my God. This is mental, people. No one's intrinsic genetic identity should be held hostage over the condition of physical violence. When you sound out for any other demographic, you realize how evil it is. You think it's normal for men, but that's not because it's normal. It's because it has been normalized. I mean, we, we are evolved to live in the Stone Age. Do you think Stone Age men thought it was a normalized rite of passage to get punched in the face? Of course fucking not. Why would you risk losing a bunch of teeth just because some dickhead will call you a fairy if you don't? We need our teeth to fucking eat things. You know, well, it's, it's fine, just go to a dentist. Men have always had dentists, haven't they? Don't prevent problems, just get someone else to cure them. Yeah, now who's the fairy? Now who's the fucking fairy cunt? Fairy, yes, yes, fairies. Fairies. How are you reacting to what It I'm is saying? a good tune, Corey. Thank you. How are you spinning this in your brain? And that how does it translate that. when we relate it back to that metaphor? That was, that was from Night and Day, from uh, Joe Jackson, 1982, I believe. Oh, God. We were I just play that tonight. Yeah. No, 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 you see, you, you see the, the building's not on fire, this is fine. I can see the flames, yes, in fact, I'm encouraging the flames, I would like to see more of them, and I will literally punch you in the face. After all, a building isn't a real building unless it's been sufficiently burned. But that doesn't mean the building is on fire, that didn't happen. And if it did, it wasn't that bad. And if it was, it's not a big deal. And if it is, it's not my fault. And if it was, I didn't mean it. And if I did, you deserved it. To conclude, song. the narcissist's prayer yeah, I like does that. not magically become a perfectly reasonable thesis just because the people it's victimizing are male. This is why our civilization is collapsing. Snap the... Randa McCam is... is, is, an, is He's an amazing... Uh, guy, so please go to his channel and you know, look up his stuff because he's really good. He plays the guitar, he sings, he animates. Guy's a fucking renaissance dude. Now, I start following him like maybe 2014, 13, something like that, and really amazing stuff. So, let's continue for a little bit. The fuck out of it already, All right? Come yeah. Right. For everyone who has inexorably found themselves making it personal, despite what I said earlier, let's yeah, do Seraphim. this. <laughs> A lot of, yeah. Oh, Joe Jackson is fucking fantastic. I mean, that album, uh, <clears throat> Night and Day, I think, that was great. And he had some, is she really going out with him? Is she really going to take him home tonight? Is she really going out with him? But if my eyes don't deceive me, there's something going wrong around you. Yeah, it's a good song. I like that one. Anyway, yeah, go ahead. Lauren pointed out him out through the yes, yes, the honey badgers. Right. Do you think? I mean, Dr. Randall Camp is going out with Lauren, maybe married at this point. Lauren's fucking fantastic. She's a hottie. Oh my God. <laughs> you know. I have ever been punched in the face? Hmm. Stepping out. Yes. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I haven't. Uh, that's harder to play, though. I'm just going to let you mull that. Over. I'm just going to let it percolate around your conscience for a few seconds. Been what are you thinking? Out. Huh? Are you thinking, well, that explains a few things? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, what does that explain? Good song. About me. Those things you think I am? 
Those things you think I've done? Yeah? Well, I was lying. I have been punched in the face. More than once. And evidently, it didn't save me from all those things you were attributing to me just now. Where does that leave your little fucking theory? Is it at all possible that being punched in the face caused me to have all those issues you were attributing to me just now? <laughs> being assaulted can only possibly have positive effects on a man. You don't even need your teeth. You just need to be punched in the face. Cunts. Absolutely. Punch me in the face. There you go. You're the one with the problem. Right. Yeah. Sort it out. Mm-hmm. Can you tell how accustomed I've become to being able to second no, guess I what try. happens in the comment section? I try. If a woman got way up in your face, I you would know exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Johnson, why are you naked? Naked. Because my t-shirt sucks. Oh my god. That's Gibson. Naked people. He's wearing a oh classic god, tee. Stop it. It's tight in all the right places, but perfect. Here we go. I suppose a counter argument might be giving someone compassion makes them weaker. Yeah, I wish I was that coordinated too, Corey. <laughs> I can do a little bit. I mean, it's, yeah, it's fun. Go ahead. If that's the case, then why do you exercise so much compassion for women? Mm. Yes. Do you want women to be weaker? Oh, my God. Or do you know you're talking bullshit? Uh, it's bullshit. You're fully aware uh, that I compassion the does actually help people. You just oh, don't shit. feel like giving it to men. I suppose oh, that's God. fair enough. Your compassion is thine to do with as you please. But if we could do away with all the bullshit gaslighting and be honest with each other, yeah, that'd be great. So it is a bigger sin, not just against her, but against yourself and your dignity and your responsibility as a man. Your job is to protect women. I'll give you the jury. I would have thought your job is to protect your family. Your duty, I should say, to protect your family. You can protect your family. It is within your feasible abilities to protect your family. Including your brothers and your sons and what have you. In any other context, Tucker, you'd be telling us your duty is to your family. Period. I don't know if you're just saying this for the sake of this argument or if it's a revealed preference, but now you're saying it's the job of a man as an individual to protect <laughs> women as a collective. Well, I can't sing if I'm drinking or not, but, uh, you know... <laughs> I could I pretend, you know. Uh, I've got a donkey in my underwear. Yeah, I wish I could play that. Well, I, I, I keep practicing. You know, that's the thing about being alive, you know. It's a great thing. You can keep improving. You know, oh, well, you know, Polska Bob says hamster, you suck at the guitar. Uh, yeah. Probably, but uh, you know, hey, I'll keep trying. Why not? I'm not dead yet. It's not possible, Tucker. There's four fucking billion of them, and all they need in order to protect themselves on an equal footing. Hamster, hamster pins pinned by comet. Oh my god, Polska Bob, what are you saying? And Easter Sunday is out. It's like, oh my god. I can't stand this massive tsunami of like solar explosions of this piano. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. <laughs> oh my God. Where's my lunch? Is a ranged weapon. You got to see it. Like uh, the Easter. great equalizer that is Thank the gun. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. The fuck is the point in the Second Amendment if we're just going to pretend we never even invented the bow and arrow? <laughs> or that. Men and women can protect each other. The point of the Second Amendment is to um, give the people, excuse me, excuse me, remember this is King George the Crazy. It's supposed to give the people the opportunity to defend themselves when the government comes after them. Prevent tyranny. Prevent that. That's why all my guns 
that I might or I, I think I used to have some guns. Pretty sure they fell into a fucking black hole in a I was on a canoe trip, you know. Black holes show up. The point is to protect us from them. Government don't like that. Government doesn't want to have to go guns. Unless you're an illegal alien <laughs> in Illinois. Of course, if you're here, it's no fun to be an illegal alien. <laughs> Government ruled illegals should be uh, have access to guns and shit. Even Glocks and stuff that you can modify. No, but not citizens of Illinois or citizens of the United States because that's just evil and shit. But illegals, come on in. Get your Glocks. Are you fucking kidding me? It's upside down world, guys. <laughs> this is insane. But here we are. What are we going to do? What's going to happen? Oh, there we are. I don't see it exactly the same way. Because you I, don't want to admit it. You're telling me no, some no, girl's no, going to kill your ass. No, no. You know this. I'm true. Hold on. There are women who could. Okay? There's who are no, they? There's no... Ronda Rousey. Gina Carano. Just to name the two that everyone's heard of. There's a whole... Uh-huh. Yeah, Ronda, whole fucking bunch of them and you... Ronda would break your ass in half without even trying. Why don't we talk about the average, the, you know, average person, you know? The average guy is not six foot tall and bulletproof with a big cock and all that. Average woman can't fucking lift 100 pounds. She's a buck five or a buck ten. She ain't going to drag those fucking hoses into the goddamn burning bill. It's not going to happen. There's nothing wrong with this. It's not discrimination. It's fucking reality. Well, let's talk about Ronda Rousey. What is she, 220? Built like a fucking tank? Of course she could break us in half. Because that's her job. That's what she does. She's a fighter. Alan Fox, well, let's not get crazy. You know it. Yeah. You're just pretending they can't possibly exist. And no, they are not the exception that proves the rule. They are the exception that you are specifically asking for, Tucker. Cuomo's not going to name them because he's... I mean, that's what these people always do. Always. They go to the exceptions. They go to the, well, what about Ronda Rousey? You know, she could kick your ass. I agree. <laughs> yes. I mean, her whole life, she's trained. She's probably got 1% body fat. She's muscular, and she's into this stuff. She comes in here and tries to beat me up. Yes. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> no shit. Why don't we talk about average people? Average Jane, average Joe. You know, woman's buck five, buck ten. You know, average man's one, 150, maybe 155. <laughs> Even the average man in a situation where no one is trained, is going to break that girl in half. We don't want to do that. I don't want to break girls in half. I don't want to break anyone in half. What the fuck is Chris Cromo saying here? Of course, Rhonda is... Oh, God, Jesus. Why do I do this? <laughs> because I love trying to out-simp you. And he's losing. Jesus Question in my mind. There are all these professional fighters and women who train in self-defense who will beat my ass. I'm a 53-year-old uh, guy. How many? Yeah, yeah. What about the average lady on the street? Jeez, I can't even do any more of this. Chris, what about the average woman walking down the street? Buck 10, buck 15, buck 20. You think she's going to kick your ass? Are you equating Ronda Rousey and the other person, woman you mentioned as being the average woman that you meet walking down to the bodega or bodega? What, how do you say bodega? The grocery store in New York City where you probably live. This, you know, tiny. But what about AOC? For example, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. What is she, a buck 20? You think if she comes at you, bro, you can't break her in half? What the fuck's the matter with you? Women are not Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is Ronda Rousey. Fuck's wrong with you? God damn. 
What's the matter with these people? Um, oh, how many female fighters have gone against male fighters there? He's not a UFC fighter, Tucker. He's yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, yes, Tom. I'm, I'm talking about the younger uh chicks, you know, 18, 19, whatever. They're still fit, they're a buck 10, buck 20. Yeah, the 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 30 year old fat lesbian. <laughs> Whoa, what I didn't say that. I'm sorry because. You know, whatever, be what you want to be. I'm not talking about some fat Wamalo coming up there. You know, Chris Cromo, you know, he's six through six three, probably two two twenty. Yeah, some fat Wamalo could come up there and fall on him, maybe. <laughs> talking about average young women, 18, 19 year old women who are still fit, 105, 110 pounds. They're not gonna beat a Chris Cuomo. They're not going to beat a man. Average man's going to kick the shit out of a average woman. Not that I agree with that. I'm saying if you put them in the ring, it's not. There's no chance. There's no chance. The woman is going to lose. But Ronda Rousey, <laughs> I mean, you get these these fit fighter women. In with an average guy, we're gonna fucking be broken in half. As we should be, because we're fat and flabby. A lot of guys are, oh well, whatever. I got a beer gut and a dad body and all that shit. You get Ronda Rousey in there, she's a hundred fucking percent almost <laughs> pure muscle. She's gonna rip your fucking head off and shit down your neck stump. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about average. Jane, average Joe, walking down the street, buck 10, buck 20. A man's 165 on average. It's no contest, but I love the redirection. It's beautiful. Chris Cuomo is not, he's not a stupid man. He knows what the fuck he's doing. Go ahead. Chris fucking Cuomo put down the goalposts. Roughly the same. Very story. rare. Although, did you see that girl who just won the high school uh, wrestling championship? Mm hmm. That is not the average, though, Mr. Cuomo, Mr. Cuomo. I remember when your daddy, Mario Cuomo, was the governor of New York. That was in the 70s. Let's talk about averages, not the fucking extremes. Average person, da 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 da. da. We've been there. We got it. That was cool. It must um, have been a late. Well, look, she was in the It was lightweight, but they're extraordinary no, female women. Athletes. It's unfair. They by weight and muscle. It's not just. I mean, I can't even. I think that's enough, boys. I gotta go eat some lunch. This was a fun stream. All right, let's read some uh, comments. Bed, bath, and beyond. Oh, you're like God. Yes. Oh no. Corey Lee Slater says. <laughs> Ronda Rousey's a dude. Well, I don't know about that, but. Uh, she kind of looks like a female, but uh, okay, maybe. Uh, let's see who else is. Yeah. AOC coming at me with her whole 115 pound frame. Of course, she could beat a man <laughs> of average. Oh my God. It's so ridiculous. It's so crazy. Oh my God. All right. We might do something later. You guys have a great day. Thanks for coming by. And don't forget the forget to hit the sub and subscribe and the thing and the linkies and whatever. All right, I'll see you later. I'm gonna listen to Joe Jackson right now. Real men. Because I'm a real man. <laughs> see you later. Bye bye.